All right, welcome everybody. This is Shadow Tech here, PPCGeeks.com. I'm going to show you today on how to get the AGPS working on your PPC 6800 Titan Mogul. It also is going to work on the uh, XV 6900 uh, Vogue Touch, whatever you want to call it. This will actually also work on the Touch Pro and the Diamond. So um, there might be a few little differences here and there, but for the most part, it'll all work the same. Um, what you're going to need to do is on my post, you're going to need to go to the requirements section and there's a software download. So it's hosted by RapidShare. Uh, the hosting might change, but you just download that. And um, that's going to be the file right there. It's QPST 2.7. I got build 301 and the uh, W modem drivers. Um, you're also going to need to, from the same thread on the post, uh, post number two, there's going to be um, a file here at the bottom, the AGPS fix uh, registry cab. That's basically just going to create the registry entries for you automatically, save you some time, make it a little easier. All right, so first off, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to download those two files, and you're going to have them here on your desktop. And you basically just double-click one, and that's going to have the two files in there. Just put those on your desktop. Boom. And then what you're going to have is the registry file. And these are just CAD files. These are going to be copied over to your device. You can see there's Verizon, Calis, um, you know, Bell, Altel, all of them. I even put the default ones in here. If you want to ever revert back, it'll do that for you. So, yeah, you just, you know, whichever one you need, just copy that out. Send that over to your device. Real simple. Just installs like a regular CAD file. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need that trash on my desktop. So these two files, these get installed on your actual PC itself. So those will just install on your PC. You're going to install the Windows modem driver first, or the W modem driver, and then QPST second. Um, I'm not going to run those, but it's really simple. You just double click that, and it'll start automatically. If it doesn't, it's just a button that says start. You wait till it says finished, and you just close it. It's a real small thing. Same thing with QPST, it's just a regular uh, self-executing file, both of these are. You just install it, install it like regular. Um, once you get those installed, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your phone here, and you're going to put your phone in diagnostic mode. Now to do that, you just go to the phone, and you're going to dial pound, pound, three, four, two, four. That's pound, pound, three, four, two, four. And then you're just going to press call. Now, it puts your phone in diagnostic mode. The phone is in diagnostic mode right now and will be until you press the exit button. But it's going to go back to the Today screen automatically. Um, you don't have to, but if it does go back to the Today screen like it just did, you can enter it again. But this is not necessary. But I'm going to go ahead and do it just so you can see what we're doing here. So now it'll stay at the screen. So I'm just going to take the mini USB plug and I'm just going to plug that in and it plugs in. Now normally what will happen on the bottom corner of the computer it'll say installing new devices which is good and once it installs the device it'll say your device is ready to use. Uh, it actually installs three different devices uh, that's just the way it works so um, you'll know um, if you'll notice that it says here TX and RX, and they're both at zero right now, those, that'll start changing once you actually establish a proper connection. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, the device manager. You can get there by clicking, right-clicking on my computer at the top and click going down to properties. Or if you don't have that on your desktop, you can just go into where it says computer. And this is Vista. Um, and you right-click on it and you just go down to properties and either way will work. You get to this screen either way. Upper left hand corner it says device manager. On XP it'll be somewhere, there should be a tab somewhere and you'll get in that way. Alright, uh, once you're in the device manager what you're going to do is you're going to go down to where it says ports and expand that and it'll say HTC diagnostic interface and it'll have a COM number. Uh, mine happens to say COM5 right now. If you can read that it says COM5. So I just got to take a mental note of that real quick. Go ahead and close that out. Close that out. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the Start menu, and you're going to click Start, and click All Programs. And then there should say QPST in there. You're going to go ahead and click on that, QPST. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to do the uh, QPST configuration. This is just going to get our phone set up so it works in QPST service programming. So now that we're in QPST, um, I'm going to go ahead and just remove this so you can see. Uh, what you'll have is you'll have uh, a listing in here, and um, they'll say different things. Basically, don't worry about it. It'll say no phone or not available or some stuff like that. But you notice right here it says uh, the COM 1, 2, 3, and 7. Notice how COM 5 is not in there, and that's what was shown in the device manager. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click Add New Port. <laughs> now the only important part is COM 5. You've got to actually type COM 5. You don't just type 5. It has to say COM 5. For the label, you can put anything, but I'm just going to go ahead and put COM 5 again. So I'm going to put COM 5 in there, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, COM 5 is now, and then as you can see, it says COM 5 enabled, and then it now says that there's a phone connected, and it's connected through the USB. So we've established the connection, and it's configured, and you can see it even says that there is one client now connected. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to go ahead and minimize that, and